Hi, after a lot of work and effort, I'm glad to present to you another IoT data simulator. But this time, it's not just simulator. This is an implementation of the Spark plug based specification in Go, with a full simulation of each of network nodes and devices built on top of it. This is going to be very useful for testing industrial IoT software solutions. With this implementation, you can simulate an edge of network node with multiple devices attached to it, and each device can have multiple simulated IoT sensors as a meaningful data source that I have improved significantly in this implementation. As always, a Docker image is available on Docker Hub that will even allow you to design some advanced simulations with multiple edge nodes, devices, and IoT sensors as needed. As you would expect, all you need to configure is a single configuration file. Enough talk. Now let's see the code. I've built an interesting demonstration for you so you can get a better idea of what you can build with this tool. For the sake of simplicity, I designed a basic simulation with a single edge node with two devices attached to it and each device with a simulated IoT sensor. After setting up this edge of network node, it will publish encoded Spark Black Bay payloads as defined in the specification to a centralized MQTT worker. Then, Another Spark Plug B client, and it's not right in this case, will subscribe to its topic namespace, decode the payloads using Google Protocol Buffers or Protobuf, and finally store them in InfluxDB for further analytics in Grafana. Also, we use Nordred to send Spark Plug B commands to both of the Edge node and its devices at runtime. To deploy this demo, we're going to use this Docker Compose file to run all of these services with a single command. I'll get back to this file later. To run this demo, please make sure you have Docker installed and you already cloned your repository from GitHub. Change directory to the example folder and run the following command docker compose app minus day. Give it some time while docker compose bringing the services up. And voila! Let's check if Node RAID is running. Great! Node RAID is running as expected and you can see data coming in from the edge. I'll get back to it, but let's see if Grafana working properly. This is the default password and you can find it and change it in the Grafana config file. Okay, we're not seeing the data, simply because the edge node sent its birth certificate before Nordred was able to establish an MQTT session with the broker. To fix it, we have to send a rebirth command to the node and its devices to republish their birth certificates and we should see the data in Grafana. I need to refresh the Grafana variables. In Spark Plug B, we don't include the metric name in the device data payload. We only use the alias. So I need the birth certificates to map the aliases with their names and the end user needs only to know the name of the metric or the device. I will simply fix this in the Docker file by making the edge node depend on Node-RED before starting up. To understand what's really happening, you need to be familiar with Spark Plug B specification. Otherwise, this won't make sense to you. But in a nutshell, the edge node receives the data from the devices attached to it, and they, in turn, receive the data from the IoT sensors. And then the edge node encodes it and publishes it to the broker. As I mentioned earlier, you can now specify the period between data points for each sensor and you can also update their parameters at runtime. Now, let me show you how to send commands to the edge node with Node-RED. Like we did before, to tell the node to republish its birth certificate, we need to publish the following payload to its topic namespace. As you may notice, this is a custom Spark Plug Bay template that Node-RED will encode using Protobuf before publishing it. On the other hand, the edge node subscribes to its Spark Plug B command topic to process and execute all the incoming commands. Similarly, we can add remove devices sensors by sending the right payload, and all the available commands are predefined in the birth certificate. Let's add a new sensor. To do so, we need to provide the following template where we pass the sensor's parameters and the command as a metric. To see what's happening, Let's check the logs by running the following command. What we're seeing is the info level of the logs. And you can also enable the debug mode so you can see what's happening in great detail. 
Now let's send that command and check the logs if it was successfully added. As you see, it was successful. If we go back to Grafana, it should be added automatically and see the sensor data coming in. Similarly, you can add sensors to all the devices you have and also add devices to the edge node and it should be added automatically to Grafana. I'll let you explore the other commands. So far, I haven't shared with you the most challenging and exciting part of this project, which is the store and forward feature. That if it's enabled, it will provide a strong data delivery to the MQTT broker. It is simple how it works. When the connection with the broker is lost, all the incoming data will be stored in an inbuilt cache memory and then it watches the connection state so that whenever the connection is re-established, it will republish all the cache messages. Also, in the device configuration, there is a field called time to live or TTL that tells the cache memory how long it should keep the data before dropping it. Thus, it will continue to try to publish the messages until it gets an acknowledged packet from the broker for each message or the time to live or TTL to fire. Let's see how it works. But first, we need to simulate a connection lost between the edge and the broker. If we go back to the Docker Compose file, we'll see that the only connection between the edge and the broker is this network. So if we explicitly disconnect it, the edge node won't be able to reach the broker. And to do so, we need to run the following Docker command again. I should have enabled the debug mode so we can see what's really happening. But after the keep live period expires, we'll see some messages showing up indicating that the connection is not available. You can also enable a Prometheus endpoint to monitor the edge node performance. And I have already included it in the Docker Compose file and build the following Grafana dashboard. And we can see now that the number of cached messages is increasing. And you can also monitor the CPU and memory usages. Before we reconnect to the network, let me just do this to better demonstrate this feature to you. This is the last message we received from the edge. I will just make a mark on it and go back to the terminal and reconnect to the network. The same command as before, just we replace disconnect with connect. Let's give it some time while it tries to re-establish the connection automatically. And here you go. It successfully published all the cache messages and we should save them in Grafana. For the Node-RED client, this is like it never happened. And even if Node-RED itself goes down, the broker will keep all the messages while it was offline as I set the clean session flag to false and this is an MQTT feature. Thank you so much for watching and sorry for making it this long.